Hello, good afternoon everyone. My name is Connor Carr. This is my video of my long range life plan for my personal growth class. I'm gonna be talking today about what some goals I wanna do between from now up to my 40s because I see about 20, 25 years is as far as I can see going into the future and thinking about stuff because who knows where I'll be when I'm in my 60s or 50s. I could be here in San Diego, I can go do anything else, or I might not be alive. I'm not trying to be Debbie Downer here, so. But with everything going on, you know, a lot of people's life's plans are on hold right now, including mine, you know. I was projecting after I go to Mesa for the semester to continue at the University of San Diego for next semester and finish my my schooling around next spring maybe fall of 2021 but with everything going on um, you know it's come into play of when I can go back and everything but I'm not too worried about it I mean I'm still questioning it a bit there but I'm getting off a tangent so I will be talking about some goals and how I think I'll go about my life plan from my 20s into my 40s because I, th I believe it's important to get not have a base plan like a full plan you know because things change and everything but just have a skeleton key of like points that I want to go for so as I've said before life always brings new challenges every single day and the stuff I want to talk about that I right now could change in six weeks six months or six years so and you can revisit this video whenever you want because I can tell you right now I'll probably post updates and I'll probably change of how I feel because relationships can change and everything so let's start with my 20s um, explain my age I am 23 years old I'm currently at San Diego Mesa College taking some classes and then transferring to the University of San Diego in the fall to continue my education. My degree that I am going for is a Bachelor's of Science in Business Economics and what I want to focus on is sports because for me growing up my favorite sport and I played it all the time was baseball. I loved it, I knew everything about it and I was always interested in the business side of it and probably one of the biggest culprits of it was the movie Moneyball, uh, the story of Billy Bean and how he took a ragtag amount of players with a very small budget and made them to a contending team. So the first goal is graduating college, it's plain and simple, with a degree in business economics and graduate from the University of San Diego. Now, like I've mentioned in the beginning of the video, you know, with the whole thing going on with the virus, it's putting everyone's life plans on hold, and including mine. So, I'm talking with both Mesa and University of San Diego about these challenges for me, and I bet everyone else is talking about it with their life counselors and everything. But one of the most important things, probably, coming out of college is getting a job. Now, not necessarily having an immediate job in your career because this is, especially now, looking back, I'll use my father, for example, when he started his career, he worked at County of Health, and then he worked at SeaWorld, now he works at the port. It changes all the time, but he worked there, each of those places for a good amount of time. What I've noticed a trend today of now is a lot of people now work a lot of jobs, but in a short amount of time. So like a year, two years, you know. For me, it's I want to start doing internships. Look, I'm looking at into sports internships. You know, working in organizations. My dream job, of course, is working for the San Diego Padres front office team. That's an ambition that I've had since in high school. And that's something I want to look into. But the most important thing about getting a job is having connections. Uh, working hard, obviously, it's a 
that goes without saying. But just having those connections with people is going to help you out a bunch. Get to know people. Get friendly with people, you know. Uh, one thing I, I have not done yet is establishing some savings and investing. So, is, first off is establishing my 401k. Right, it, everyone says the most important thing to do is save, but you have to save early. This is prime time right now especially with everything's going on is to save save as much money as you can because 20 30 years that money you saved it's invested you have more money in your pocket you know and i've seen a lot of people a lot of friends of mine who haven't saved yet and they're spending more money than they are making money so but it goes into making smart investments not only just for yourself but for your significant others and your family you know, my girlfriend and I, we've been dating for almost three years now. And we've talked about moving in together while we're in college, you know. And that's a tricky thing in of itself. But, you know, it's... We've talked about maybe my house or her parents' house. We have some sections. We live in a nice part of San Diego, you know, but rent's high. So that's another thing. It's knowing where to live and how much to pay for rent because it can get very expensive you know and we talked about our plans together you know it's easier said than done her and i love each other very much and i feel like we we will stay together for a very long time you know but things change you know and it can get challenging and especially now things have been challenging but we've made the best you know it's making smart choices too and we want I want to travel too for a bit you know right now I can't travel but you know when things start to clear up my first place I want to try and travel to is Ireland visit my Irish roots but um that's pretty much my 20s in summation I'll probably come back to this video. I'll probably post an update. So now I'll talk about my 30s. And that's a little bit less clear. And each decade as I go along, it's going to be less clear than the one before it. But my main goal in my 30s is to start a family. You know? Whether it be with my girlfriend right now, because I, I strongly feel that will happen. Or it's with somebody else, you know? I think 30s is a prime time to have a family. Yeah, you don't want to do it too late because then it becomes one, a, a physical health thing for not just the man but also for the woman too. My ideal family is two kids. In my personal opinion, anything more than two is going to be nuts. <laughs> um, if it had to be a boy and a girl. but looking at my own family I have a, a younger brother and we work pretty well we're about eight and a half years apart so there's kind of a gap my gap that I can see like four or five years because then if you put them in high, high school one's gonna graduate and one will become a freshman so you kind of have that balance there you know so starting a family that's family of two kids um, also a job career at that point I feel like I should have a career that I can fully establish myself for a lifelong one because I think in 30s that's like when you have to really settle down and I'll still travel a little bit you know here and there but 20s is more for that I think right after you graduate and you have internships so having that lifelong career I can easily establish myself now, I don't know where that will be. Hopefully, it's going to be in baseball, you know. That's my dream. But, um, you know, things always change. And just how I go about it, it's how I go about college right now. It's, well, it's a little bit different now with everything going on. But I set, take my time. I make a work schedule for myself. Just having that motivation to do it is easier said than done of course but it for me it's very nice so now we're going from the 30s into 
your 40s. Now, the 40s are interesting because that's... The, I remember the movie This is 40, and the mom doesn't want to talk about turning 40 years old, you know, they're showing all this life stuff. But anyway, my main goals for my 40s is to continue from my 30s. And hopefully at that point, I've learned to become a good father, a good husband, and a hard worker. But the most important thing, I think, especially in your 40s, is to focus on physical health. Now that's through, that's regardless of any decade, but especially your 40s is all kinds of stuff a male and or female have to do, have to check up on. That's a very difficult time for them. And it could be a make or break situation of how someone could be. And how I go about it, see my doctor, and that's all throughout it, but just see the doctor often as much as I can. And continue my exercising and so forth. But also focusing on the kids too. I think spending a lot of time with them as they grow up, you only get one chance to do it. So that's something I don't want to miss, you know. Now, in summation, this life, this long-range life plan, as you can hear my mother trying to work, technology, that's one thing I will never stop is knowing my technology, keeping up to date with it. Technology about 20 years ago would change every 10 years. Now it's gone to every two years. There's always something new going on. But as I was continuing, this life, this long range life plan will probably change, but it, the core values will stay the same. So my 20s, I'm graduating, getting that right job or an internship for a little bit, making smart investments, talking about my long range plans with my girlfriend, Travel for a bit too, because your 20s are prime time to travel. After that, it's, it gets a little bit more difficult, but it, I'll still travel. 30s, you're starting a family, joining that, making that lifelong career a big thing for you. Just making sure I'm checking on these goals in my 40s, keeping track of my physical health. So I hope everyone finds this helpful for you because everyone's long range life plan is different. Someone wants to, you know, think of it in five years, some 10, some for the rest of their life. For me, it's within the next 20, 25 years, because those are the most important years right now for me. After that, it's a whole other discussion that I probably will post about and talk about. But if you have any questions, you wanna leave a like down in the comment section below, subscribe to me, we can talk a little bit more. I'll probably do a live stream and do just live topic questions. I hope everyone's good. Everyone stay safe. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you all soon.